Hello everyone, this is Akayam and welcome back to some more World of Warships and yes, I am finally back. I'm getting over being sick. I know it's been a lousy three days for me and it feels kind of good to get back. Um, I'm still recuperating from basically what I had. Uh, I won't really get in too much detail, but yeah, it was not a good time for me. Could not record, could not talk that well. So I'm starting to get back. I'll probably be coughing in this coughing in this video so if you do hear that please forgive me I'll try to keep it to a minimum um today we will be taking out the Tachibana god I'm probably not saying that right uh it is a prize ship that you can win by doing I believe it's the, the Cajun Hunter I might be wrong I might be right um it is a Japanese tier 2 destroyer which is the ship is very unusual for a Japanese destroyer. So let's go ho over uh, the stats. I will compare it to the Umikaze, which is the regular tier 2 destroyer that you get through the game. Uh, let's look at survivability. The Tachibana has 7,000 health points, while the Umikaze has 10,300. And that's after you get the whole upgrade. So the, I'm com comparing them uh, fully upgraded all the way through. So definitely a lot less health. Artillery is kind of where it's unusual for this Japanese battleship. Battleship destroyer. The Tachibana has five guns. Show them off. And they're all 76 millimeters. They are essentially scattered through out the ship. Um, while what's really is and it can do about 12 rounds a minute so they're fast firing guns they have about i believe it's 6.7 yeah 6.7 kilometers so not bad they don't do a lot of damage since they are such small shells the umekaze has two main guns with 120 millimeters and can put out about six rounds a minute so it's a little bit slower but they're bigger rounds so they can do more damage but they're also 6.7 kilometers. Another thing is the Umekaze has secondary term, turrets. Um, the Umekaze has five secondary turrets to help defend. The Tachibana does not have any at all. But here's the thing that gets weird for this Japanese destroyer. She does have torpedoes, but they are five kilometers. Your detection range is 5.2. So, yeah, your torpedoes won't, are not really your best option. They're not bad, don't get me wrong. They have a, about, I think, a 19.3 second reload rate. I'm pretty certain. Let's double check, make sure I'm right. 20 seconds. Okay, it is 20 seconds for load rate. Well, the Umekaze, let's see what the Umekaze has. 22 seconds. So your torpedoes reload a lot faster, but you have that shorter range. So I've been playing the Tachibana uh, as more as a U.S. or eh, yeah, or even a Soviet destroyer style. I've been using the guns more often than the torpedo tubes because you have two options: either you rush towards your enemy and get real close as you can which is fully plausible with your low detection range because if you look at concealment you're looking at 5.2 and this is with the special uh, camouflage which is uh, minus 3% <coughs> which is I think is yeah the same for the type 1 um, so you can get down to 5.2 the Umekaze has uh, 5.6 detection range uh, actually, I think you probably can get a little bit lower, probably around 5.2, so it's actually not that much better. Uh, maneuverability, she's a little bit slower than the Umekaze. She does 30 knots, while the Umekaze does about 33 knots. Give me one sec. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'll be coughing a lot. So, yeah, I, I don't really want to say this destroyer is amazing. Um... I normally would not play this destroyer. I just wanted to kind of show it off because this is kind of a prized ship. I guess you can get for free for doing the um, 
the missions that they had set up for the Cajun Hunter. I'm pretty certain. But yes, it's it's okay. It's nothing too special. It's fun to play. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and take her out. See you in just a sec. All right, we are in playing on Big Race, and I haven't seen this map in ages. Oh, wow, the nostalgia of this map. We are on the northwest-hand side, spawning on the very top north. And the team's going to be interesting. We have three South Carolinas, two St. Louis, a Colburg, an Albany, which is a, um, I believe it's a premium American cruiser, uh, a Wix, a Dursky, us, a Umikaze, and a Strozelsky. Uh, on the enemy team, three South Carolinas again, three St. Louis, a Tenru, a Wix, a Dursky, Sampson, Umikaze, and a Strozelsky. I don't know how to pronounce it. I really don't know. And we are playing Zone. I haven't seen Zone in a long time. It's not a style of gameplay that you see too much. But uh, the whole gimmick of this mode of gameplay is to stay in the center and force the enemy team out. And if you can keep them out of the circle for about 60 seconds, you win. And there are some St. Louis's. They are very nasty piece of works. I do not want to get close to them. I'll tell you that much. I don't really know where I'm going. Uh. So, I don't know. I've had me mediocre success with the Tachimbana. We have three, all three South Carolinas coming in. <laughs> what? Here, one sec. Sorry. Told you this. This cough is almost starting to become dehabilitating. Looks like the South St. Louis's are coming off. Coming out west, east of us. There's a Dursky behind that island. There's the Omakaze. So let's go ahead, take a pot shot at him. Ooh, wow. And also the shell are very slow. Very, very slow. But at least we're no longer being detected. And why are you firing AP shells at a destroyer, St. Louis? Let's see. Looks like that South Carolina is moving off. Now there's a Sampson and a St. Louis. Now, like I said, the torpedoes are more of a last resort in this destroyer. You you really would have to rush your target to get torpedoes off. There's no real use of the Japanese style of gameplay, which requires just kind of stay in the back and uh, firing off your torpedoes when you get close or when they get close enough because you have five kilometers now I could probably do it but I do have the umikaze I do have to worry about and the torpedoes are somewhat slow looks like there is a Samson we can fire away at the Samson Ooh, wow, those are bad shots. Now, I don't want to get hit by his torpedoes. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a little rusty. I'll tell you this much. Got a hit. Knocked out his engine, it looks like. Let's see. We need to lead him a little bit more. Not likely we're going to actually hit him. And But since we did knock out his engine, he's kind of stuck in the water. So we can slow up for sure. 
I'm gonna have to go ahead and use my smoke generator. And keep firing at him. Oh, good lord. Look at that lag. Can we get kill him off? There we go. Alright, he's dead. No longer gonna be kind of an issue for us. Oh. Alright, so the Umekaze and the Wicks are both going for our South Carolinas. We probably should go help. Let's bring our guns around. And try to help him out as best we can. Oh, good lord. Yeah, the shots on the Umekaze are terrible. They're very slow. And he knocked out our South Carolina. All right, you knocked out his engine, it looks like. Engine boost activated. All right, and it looks like he's using his engine boost as well. Ooh, wow. I'm leading too much of the target. And I'm not watching where I'm going. Need to get out of here because the St. Louis are firing at us. Looks like. Ooh, ooh, set a fire. Good lord, St. Louis. I'm guessing that's the St. Louis. Or it could be the South Carolina. So, like I said, the Touched Bana is it that. Is it a bad, bad ship? Come on. I mean, the guns aren't the greatest, obviously. But, eh. I'm not doing terribly. I'm gonna turn away, just in case. Did I miss the torpedoes completely? I guess I did. Damn. So the shells are nice. This high rate of fire can be very damaging. And I'm causing a lot of fires at this this range. Alright, so good lord. Yeah, the destroyers went right after our after our battleships. And I'm gonna have to turn away because there's a St. Louis over yonder and I don't want to get close to him. Boost Set a fire, that's always nice. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think that's actually our first damage that was taken. There's a Wix. Fortunately we took a hit. And he is firing his torpedoes. Woo! Guess what? I got torpedoes too. That was awesome. Alright, we're not detected. I'm gonna move away from this area. And I'm very happy with that dodge. That was a very, very nice dodge. Now there is still the uh, dirt ski around, and it looks like we lost another of our ships. Now I, I cannot take any more damage. That torpedo really messed up any plans of success for me. Where's this South Carolina going? Eh, you never know. see yep got some damage on him now if I didn't have the freaking trees I might be able to hit this guy a little bit easier Smoke set. let's 
Let's see. He's probably going to be coming around that island. He might be. Now, it looks like our two are St. Louis's? Are they... Uh, the Albany and the St. Louis are both... Um... What? Not court-martialing, but guarding our South Carolina. Let's see. And I really, really don't want to die. So what I might do is try to take out this South Carolina. I don't think I'm going to be successful. Because what, what I would have to do is get behind him. Because his guns are extremely slow to turn. And I mean detected. So the Dursky's right there. Alright. Dursky is destroyed. Fantastic. Alright. Let's get this boosted up. No longer being detected. Or you can just get a lucky shot. Ah! Ah, oh, that was disappointing. But that was a good match. That's probably one of my better matches I've had. So... I'm going to end this video here. I know it's probably a little bit short, but I'm still recuperating. Still n not feeling the very best. So if you do like the video, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great day. Zai Jin.